is Inesh. I'm a first year joint maths and computing student here at Imperial and I've just moved to London from Newcastle. Um, I'm currently studying remotely so I'm in Kent Porter at the moment so I'm going to share my week with you and um, show you a little bit around Kent Porter as well. So today's a Monday and because most of my maths lectures are pre-recorded they come out on a Sunday night and I can watch them when I want to. So I've come out for my daily walk in lockdown in Hyde Park today and I'm going to watch my maths lectures when I get back and it's dark. So today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays I have like six, maybe seven hours of live things on my timetable so it's pretty tiring um, but I managed to get out for a run this morning which is nice and um, because the Covid situation is improving a little bit Imperial has decided that they're going to open the piano rooms here in Camp Porter so I'm going to go and play piano for the first time in a couple of months later which is nice and during my lunch break we had a bit of a zoom social where some of the students stay um on zoom lecture after the lecturer leaves which is nice um so it's pretty tiring but my timetable varies a lot day on day so some days i have more time to do independent work and some days like today i have a lot of live work stuff today is a thursday i had a live lecture for reasoning about programs in the morning and i've had some q and a's for linear algebra and groups and for graphs and algorithms today. Um, the Q&As that we have um, tend to replace the like office hours that we would have had um, if we were on campus in person. Um, so they're a good chance for us all to ask the lecturer questions. We've just started doing multivariate calculus, um, which I've been really looking forward to for a while. So I'm working through the problem sheet for that at the moment. And I'm going to go running with someone from my household later. On Thursdays, I used to go to choir most most Thursdays. Um, we have quite a lot of music societies at Imperial, so I went to a non-auditioned choir, but there's quite a lot of alternatives if you're into music. Kemp is based in North Acton, it's across the road from Woodward, which is another Imperial Halls. So here in Acton there's maybe a thousand Imperial students, so it's a really big community here. Um, it's about 35 to 40 minutes from campus. Um, you can go a couple of different ways. My favourite is to get the central line, which is just outside um, to Lancaster Gate. And I like to walk across Hyde Park in the morning because I think that's a really nice commute. This is the main common space in Camp Porter. Um, you can see on the outside, we have a courtyard with some tables and chairs and stuff, but this is the common room. It's pretty big. Um, normally it has a lot more tables and chairs, but at the moment the space is closed because of COVID. Um, we do have a pool table and a couple of table tennis tables. And I believe over here, there's also a ping pong table. Yeah, over there on that side. Um, so hopefully this space will be able to reopen once the COVID restrictions ease. So this is the music room. It can be used to play your own instruments or to play the piano here, which is absolutely brand new because the building is new. Um, you also get a good view outside of the courtyard and a little bit of a shot of the balcony here as well. I have to say playing the piano is something that I always really like to do when I was stressed. So I'm really looking forward to this room being properly open next term. We have some study rooms in camp as well for group study. Um, again, they're not in use at the moment, but last term when we could use them, there were some tables out um, for everyone to work on. This one was um, non-silent study. And then there's also a second room in here, which was originally for silent study. You can actually see into the courtyard from this room as well. And there is a little bit of balcony space, which you can't see very well. Today I'm working on um, one of my analysis problem sheets. As a joint maths and computing student, we do some of the same modules as the math students and some of the same modules as the computing students. Um, so for example, we do analysis and calculus with them, but we have our own linear algebra module. And we do our practical module with the computing students, so we do the same lab work as them. That's our programming assignments that we do every week. That just makes our workload more manageable um, in order to study two subjects properly. Um, my favourite thing to do is probably the labs, although the amount of time that each programme assignment takes does vary. Some weeks I might spend, you know, four or five hours on a lab, some weeks it might be a lot more if they're, like, very difficult. So it's really dependent, but I'm really enjoying all of the work that I'm doing at the moment. So it's actually Sunday evening now. Um, I spent most of Saturday working. Um, I work as an um, outreach ambassador for Imperial. It's been a weird year, I think, this year for making friends, but 
my experience here at Imperial has been really positive, even with everything being online. Like I have quite a lot of friends in my hall and outside of my hall, you know, people do make the effort to make friends and talk to each other, which I think is really important, especially in a lockdown. One of my favorite things that I do here outside of my degree is um, I'm a committee member for Women in Computing. So what we do is we organize some social events some personal development events. We organize things for postgrads and for undergrads. And I really like it because we're working on diversity in the department. We do some outreach work with schools. Um, we organize social events and it really helps foster a community in the department, I think. If you're thinking about applying to Imperial, I would definitely, definitely say just to go for it. You, you can't lose anything by applying. And, you know, I wasn't sure when I applied. Um, I wasn't sure about living in London. I wasn't sure about going to an all STEM university, but I think it's been one of the best decisions I made for myself. Imperial is a really top university and I made a lot of friends here. I do a lot of activities with clubs and societies. Um, I really love my course and you're studying at a top university in London where the opportunities are fantastic so I don't know what else you could ever ask for from a university I think. So that's the end of my week. I hope you guys found it interesting and learnt a little bit about life at Imperial and just apply, just go for it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>